holding up your device, and I was literally seeing the jersey floating in space. Yeah. You know, which is incredible because it's it's augmented reality, which a lot of people are not familiar that you can actually do that. Changing the world, one blockchain at a time, with George Levy. Brought to you by Blockchain Institute of Technology. Hi, and welcome to Changing the World, One Blockchain at a Time, where we feature the leading minds and personalities in blockchain, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrency. I'm George Levy, and today's guest is Jonathan Herman. Jonathan Herman is the CEO of Baller Mixed Reality. He is ranked among the top 10 CEOs in the United States and top 20 founders globally by Crunchbase. Jonathan is a certified blockchain professional from BIT and will serve as a judge for the upcoming American Metaverse Awards. He is also a social innovator who gained notoriety as a philanthropy advisor to pro athletes, entertainers, and business leaders, where he helped build community initiatives that have served more than 100,000 participants across the United States. I'm really excited, Jonathan, that you're here and uh, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks. I'm really excited to be here too. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, you know, I've been wanting to do this interview for a long time since the time that I actually had the opportunity. Of, we were we were meeting personally, and you started showing off how amazing some of these collectibles look on a on a mobile device. So a lot of people are not familiar with uh, with the concept of baller mixed reality. Can you tell me a little bit about the concept of baller mixed reality so people can understand? Yeah, so essentially you can just imagine the world of collectibles. Uh, it's a huge market. There are so many folks who want to have memorabilia uh, from their favorite athlete or entertainer. Essentially what we've done is we've taken real world memorabilia and converted it into augmented reality uh, with, in high quality uh, definition. So you can actually walk up to these assets uh, you can go really close to them. It's almost like it's really there. Uh, you can place those items into real world settings. And then we allow the, for people to collect those collectibles uh, as NFTs, which creates scarcity and you know, makes them special because there's only so many of them in the world. Yeah, one of the things that I find fascinating about the concept is that, and when you were showing this to me, I believe what you showed me was a, was a signed authentic ball. It was like a basketball. Yeah. And, uh, and it really literally was like it was here. It yeah. was like literally next to me and we could actually see it on the device, um, only it really <laughs> wasn't there. Now, this is an NFT. It's actually a unique asset and it's owned by one individual recorded on the blockchain, correct? That's right. So I spent many years working with athletes and entertainers. Uh, I was very fortunate enough to be with David Robinson when he was inducted uh, into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Uh, there were special basketballs that were created to commemorate that occasion. Uh, and so the ball that you're talking about is one that we did, you know, almost as a test. Uh, but it's the ball that was actually signed by David Robinson, a very special, unique ball, very limited in the real world. And for the NFTs, we have created only 20 of these. So there will be only uh, 20 owners of this digital version of that collectible. Yeah, and when you expand that across the world of collectibles, right? So one of the things about it all is, uh, like some of these assets, like for example, I think you have, uh, you have some jerseys that have been signed. And uh, what's incredible about these is that, and actually, it was pretty amazing. You were actually holding up, like you were holding up your device, and I was literally seeing the jersey floating in space. Yeah, you know, which is incredible because it's it's augmented reality, which a lot of people are not familiar that you can actually do that. You can actually overlay digital assets on top of the physical world. So, you know, there's a lot of, uh, I guess, misunderstanding about the metaverse. A lot of people think that the metaverse is only virtual reality. And we think of these big bulky glasses that, you know, you see folks kind of stumbling around the room. Well, augmented reality is also a major part of the metaverse. And there is new technology, new hardware coming out from Apple, Samsung, uh, Facebook, and others, which just by wearing these glasses, which look like ordinary glasses, uh, Facebook is partnered with Ray-Ban, so the form factor looks like a regular Ray-Ban pair of sunglasses, you will be able to see enhancements to the real world. So as you're wow. saying, you put on these glasses, you walk into your house, you can have these digital assets wherever you want. You can have them floating in space. You can have them along the wall the way that you would maybe a typical man cave, so to speak. Um, but beyond sports uh, and entertainment, there's a lot of applications for this type of asset. 
Yeah, one of the things that I found fascinating about it, and mind you, this because I've been rolling this around in my head. So key things, um, physical assets are fragile, right now. And if you have a collectible and you actually like, for example, if I have a jersey, I wouldn't want that jersey to be exposed to sunlight. I wouldn't want it to get wet. I wouldn't get dirty. I wouldn't want any other people around me to touch it, yeah. to mess it up because it's a unique value. But, yeah. but with an NFT in augmented reality, it's completely, it's, I guess it's unbreakable and permanent. Yeah. Well, you know, that's part of the beauty of it, right? When you have that physical asset, you don't even want to take it out of the house. You don't want anything to happen to that right. item, right? To, 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 uh, for the quality to diminish in any way. With these assets, you can take them on your phone, you can bring them to a party, or you can bring folks over to your house and they can see them there. The quality never diminishes of the digital asset itself. But then there's something in addition to that. There's a tremendous amount of loss in the collectibles market each year uh, due to counterfeits and fraud. There's a lot of right. items that just simply aren't what they purport to be, right? So we work with athletes and entertainers directly to help them convert items from their own personal collection. Some of these things are, you know, sitting in storage somewhere, you know, someone's baseball bat from, you know, their first uh, oh, major wow. uh, game. We're converting those items into augmented reality, but uh, essentially the NFT works as a certificate of authenticity. There's only right. a certain number of these certificates. And so the buyer understands that this is one of a unique asset it's very transparent. You can see it on the blockchain. You know who owned it before you. If you sell it to someone else, all of that information is tracked. So it's a transparent way of making sure that these items are indeed what they say they are. And, and it's a way for us to help combat counterfeit in this market. Yeah. One thing that was interesting about, because I've been doing some research on what you're doing. Now, there's an element up. Uh, there's Strong Interactive. So tell me more about Strong Interactive and what's the relationship with Baller Mixed Reality? Sure. So Strong Interactive is the parent company of Baller Mixed Reality. And as I mm. said, there are many different iterations of this technology and how it can be used. Uh, we're in the process right now of looking into original artwork, high valued artwork uh, held by uh, collectors around the world. Uh, and how we can take those items and again, create a very limited edition set of augmented reality NFTs. Uh, we have another application for restaurants. So you can just imagine you walk into your favorite restaurant uh, and you look at the menu and there are QR codes uh, next to each dish. Well, using our technology and our methodology, you can scan that item and you can preview the dish right in front of you. So you don't have to ask the waitress how big is this? What's included? Like? You can actually see a high resolution uh, version of that. In space, the... it's actual size? Yeah. I mean, you, it's right on your table, exactly where the real item wow. will go after you order it. So there's a lot of different permutations of this augmented reality uh, conversion that we do. And Strong Interactive is working on a kind of a broader picture of a, really a wide range of different uh, collectibles that can be produced. Yeah, one of the things that I found fascinating about what you just said is that, uh, like, for example, one of the courses that we have at Blockchain Institute is create a metaverse, right? So in the process, we talk about, you know, defining dimensions in space because within the metaverse, you can define not a, two, not a 2D, but actually three-dimensional, right? Mm -hmm. And what you're saying is that you can actually apply that to physical space. Like, you literally can have a digital asset here, but it 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 literally takes up the space the physical asset itself would take. Yeah. That's what you're telling me. Exactly. So just imagine a car collection, right? Um, maybe, and, and we feel very sorry about you know, what happened with Jay Leno recently, but Jay Leno is known mm -hmm. for you know, his car collection. Sure, right? he has a ton of cars. It's all about the cars. Just imagine digitizing that car collection in high resolution detail where you can actually put that car in your driveway you can walk around that car and see every aspect and every detail of the real car, but you're doing it in augmented reality. Now, you'll be doing that either with the glasses that we spoke about. Uh, right now, our technology works on uh, mobile devices, uh, iPad, iPhone, you know, that type of thing. But we are also including virtual reality. So when you have your Decentraland house or your space or your boat, right, and you want to be able to enjoy these assets in a VR environment, we can do that too. The NFTs are portable into those platforms. And so uh, when you wanna invite someone over to your Decentraland house and show off that new collectible that you just purchased, you'll be able to do that. 
Yeah, no, that's amazing. So let me ask you something because you're taking me down in so many different directions. From your vantage point where you are, what unique opportunities are you seizing upon to collect the way that people collect and they enjoy all types of all types of collectibles, not just sports in general? What are you doing? Exactly. So again, Strong Interactive is looking at a, really taking a bird's eye view at the marketplace in general and what the opportunities are. Um, as we said, big tech will invest millions of dollars into educating the world about augmented reality through this new hardware that they're releasing. As the glasses come out, uh, people will come to understand what the possibilities and the functionality is of these glasses. And we think that once you spend $500, $600 on a pair of glasses, you're going to want content for those glasses. Absolutely. So, it's worthless without the content. That's right. So essentially across, a, a, I guess, a broad range of verticals, uh, we are uh, collecting and signing agreements uh, directly with content owners to take assets, produce them in augmented reality, and then limit their accessibility through NFTs. Um, but, you know, there's... The, there's a numerous number of applications for this, and we're really looking at the whole market uh, in, a, in a broad sense. That's excellent. Jonathan, thank you so very much for sharing all this information about uh, Baller Mixed Reality and, and Strong Interactive and everything you're doing. How can people find out more about what you're doing? If they actually want to visit you, how can they find you online? Sure. Well, we have a collection up on OpenSea. Uh, you can find us uh, there, but uh, StrongInteractive.io is probably the best place to go. There are links there for the various projects that we're doing. Everyone watching should also know that collectors of Baller Mixed Reality also get special access to exclusive events with our content partners, which includes a special event happening during Art Basel uh, on December 1st. Uh, all you have to do is own any one of our NFTs, and there's more information about that on Baller's Discord channel. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Jonathan. So very glad you made it on the show. And uh, we wish a lot of success to all of your plans. Thanks. And likewise, really happy to be here in front of your audience. You're doing great work, George, and happy to be happy to participate today. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week. So make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm George Levy. We're changing the world one blockchain at a time. See you next time.